Hello everyone out there in YouTube land, this is Dan here again with another under 7 minute beer review. And today we have something special. All the way from San Diego, Southern California, we have a Lost Abbey beer. The uh, Ghosts in the Forest Oak Age Wild Ale. Which is a lovely sour style beer. We gotta be careful opening these because sometimes, you know, these cork to cage suckers get a little iffy sometimes. That's why I decided to do this review outside as well, just in case of spillage, rocket attacks, all that stuff, in case this thing goes off on me. I know some people like showing the little bottle caps in the camera. Yay. Whatever. Got this down the beer yard. We went to the like gas tasting. Seems like it's going to come off nice today. Get a nice one. Ah. Come on. Come on, you bastard. Come on, I can't. Almost there. Whew. That's good, though, that it was in that securely. That means there should be a nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening, as my friend across the pond of Wales likes to say. Ah, uh, real ale craft beer. Uh, there we are. Uh, all safe and sound. All right. Let's pop her in the old beer mug and see what we got here. Ooh, looks nice. About 6% ABV, as I recall. These wild elves don't get much of a head. There's a little one. A lot of nice carbonation on that one. Got a little bit left in the bottle here. We'll feed that in in a moment. Oh, wow. That's nice. And a lot of lemon. Barnyard funk. A little bit of a... A saltine cracker without the salt malt in the background. Your little candied fruit. It smells absolutely delicious. Let's see if it's bottle conditioned. Swirl that around a little bit. Dump her in. Oh yeah. There's the flavor goodness right there. Now a lot of people say you shouldn't drink that stuff. It'll make you sick, but it's just yeast. A lot of vitamin B. Ooh, that just pulled the whole. It's really just that unique, wild, funky. People say farmyard, but it's kind of earthy, sour, like a lemon sour, citrus sour, not a vinegar sour. But we've sniffed this one long enough. Let's give her a taste. sour beer in a while. That's... Ooh. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Sour. And all you get, like a big, like biting into a lemon. Like a car. Just, ooh. Ooh. It's nice. Let's go in again. Taste buds are getting acclimated. You have lots of lemon, maybe a sour peach, a little bit in there. A lot of carbonation. Mm. Oh man. Oh, this is good. It's been a long day at work. It's nice to come home and relax with something real nice like this. Say a big thank you to all those lovely folks out there at Lost Abbey for making awesome beer and everybody else out around the world for making awesome beer. So I thought I'd come home, have a couple gulps of stuff, and 
keep one's sanity. <sighs> well, anyway, I said in yesterday's video, I'm gonna be wandering up to Lewis Hick and Brewing, not this Saturday, but the next one, the 29th. Um, this is gonna be raining a bit, so I might break out the Sherlock Holmes gear and represent my Twitter handle for a bit. At Beer Detective on Twitter. sure a lot of people are going to be on that site, but hey, it's what I know. I tend to stick with what I know, like this lovely beer. So if you see this around, grab yourself a bottle. Can be a little on the pricey side. I think that one was 16 something, 16.99-ish, but well worth every penny. If you like sour beer, go out and try it. If you don't like sour beer, give it a try. If you've never had sour beer, buy that bottle, give it a try. That's all I have for you folks. I'm gonna finish this, have some dinner, play some video games. <sighs> Maybe open that Templeton Rye a little later on this evening. We'll see. But till next time, and on Wednesday, with the uh, probably the uh, cold IPA version of Fells Two Hearted. We'll see you then. Till then, drink more beer. And like and subscribe down below and that good stuff. Uh, keep forgetting to do that. I don't know why. Anyway, it doesn't matter. See you on Wednesday, folks.